How you guys doing? Hope you guys are all having a good day. It's uh, It's been a pretty good day for me, but last night was not a good night. I was having a lot of urges last night, unfortunately. <clears throat> but, uh, but it is part of the journey. So I'm on day 33 today, which is good. I made it through the night. I, uh, I didn't succumb to the urges, thankfully. But having gone through what I did last night with, with all those urges and everything, it, uh, it compelled me to make a video today about urges and how to deal with them. So that's what today's video is going to be about. <coughs> Excuse me there. <laughs> Seasons are changing. My allergies are coming into effect, so forget about that as you guys can tell i'm a little tired so it's from it's from last night i mean sometimes along this journey you're going to face urges it's it's inevitable that you're going to face urges if you're on no fat absolutely inevitable but the difference is in how you deal with those urges whether you choose to be strong about it or whether you choose to go back into your weak frame of mind and relapse so Urges, they're going to come. And when they do come, think. Think about that. Think when these urges come. Think about the time of day that they come. Think about like the frame of mind that you're in when they come. Think about all of these factors in regards to your urges. Because knowing the urge is the key to preventing the urge. Knowing when an urge is going to hit. Knowing how they're going to hit. Knowing what kind of thoughts you have during an urge is the key to preventing an urge. So I'll give you an example. I'll give you my case. Usually when I have urges, they're at night. They're either late at night or early in the morning. Very, very early in the morning, like right when I get up or whatnot, or wake up. And with, with these urges, I don't really get porn flashbacks or anything like that, but some of you might. Some of you might have porn flashbacks. For me, it's just my imagination going wild and everything and just and just giving me ideas that I shouldn't have like oh you should you should relapse like it it it's pointless there's no point there's no like this and that but the thing is the thing that you have to know is that your brain is going to play every single trick in the book on you to try to get you to relapse it's going to try to use every single trick in the book everything everything it knows to try to get you to slip up and you have to know that your brain is going to make excuses for you Whenever you have an urge, it will try to make excuses so that you can justify your behavior. So that you can justify relapsing and ending your streak and starting and starting all the way from the beginning. Not all your progress is going to be lost. Don't worry. Whenever you relapse on NoFap, you don't lose all your progress. All that mental progress you made is still going to be there. You may not, you may not have the energy for a couple of days or so, but it'll come back. The mental progress, the discipline that you'd gain along the way will still be there. But... With that comes the discipline of dealing with urges. And it's <laughs> it's a little it's a little embarrassing to talk about having one as well, so that that does kind of <laughs> it's still on my mind, but you really have to pull that motivation out of you. Whenever you have an urge, think about your goals. Think about what you want to achieve. Think about the reason why you're on NoFap. Think about what you want to achieve in life. Think about how far you want to get in life. And then think about that urge and say, if I relapse, how am I going to achieve this? How am I going to achieve my goals in life? How am I going to get to where I want to be? How is this relapse going to help me to get to where I need to be? It isn't. It is not putting you on your path at all. It's taking you off of your path. And it's your mind that's doing that. Your mind, as I said, it will make every single excuse in the book to try to get you off of that path. The demons, or whatever you believe in, whatever you believe in is going to make any single excuse to get you off of that path. Now, thinking about my goals is one thing that works for me. And if you're, and if you're a more religious person as well, like I am, I like to pray as well. Well, whenever I invoke the name of Jesus Christ, whenever I, whenever I say a prayer and whatnot, the urges tend to dissipate after a while. They tend to go away. That's what works for me personally. For you, you, you may believe in something different. You may believe in you may, may believe in something like that's spiritual or not religious. In either in either case, pray to pray to whatever you believe in. 
Because I can almost guarantee you that whatever you believe in doesn't condone masturbation or addiction or any anything of that sort. Porn. I can guarantee you they don't they don't condone that. So another thing that will work, I suppose, is meditation. I was <laughs> I was a little hesitant to bring this one up because I don't really meditate. I I should, and I, and I probably will get on that along the course of this streak, because I know that there are plenty of benefits to meditation. There are I've tried it in the past. I had it's not a discipline that stuck, but this time I'm going to try to get it to stick, because there are plenty of benefits with it, such as a sharper mind and just an overall feeling of um, peace and more energy and everything like that. I'm so there are quite a few benefits to it, and I, and I am going to try it out again to try to get it to stick and everything but yeah meditation is another one that that helps cold showers help with urges as well i i can recall a couple of times when i've had an urge and i just went straight into a cold shower and the urge went away just like that works like magic guys <laughs> but yeah those are just some tips of mine on dealing with urges because urges are an essential part of your no fap journey but I also want to talk a little bit about relapses. Thankfully, I didn't relapse last night, but I've been on the NoFap journey since 2019. And ever since 2019, there have been many, many instances in which I've relapsed. There's going to be quite a few of us who have relapsed along our journeys. It's inevitable. It's something that's going to happen. It's something that's you're going to slip up. As I said in one of my previous videos, success is not a straight line. It's a very, very jagged line. But... Once you get there, your overall progress will be much higher than it was than when you started. Just keep that in mind. Whenever you relapse, you don't lose all your progress. All that mental discipline, all, all of the mental lessons and spiritual lessons, and any kind of lesson that you learned along your streak is still going to be there by the time your, your relapse is over. You may not have energy for a couple of days or so, as I said. You, you may not have that kind of energy for a while. But the lessons and all the important things are still going to be there. You made progress. Even if you relapse, don't see it as a failure. See it as a learning opportunity. Say to yourself, how can I learn from this failure? Um, <laughs> not this failure. I can't speak right now. I'm so tired. Uh, how, how can I learn from this relapse? How, how can I, how can I better improve? What thoughts was I having? Which goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video. Think about every relapse that you have. <laughs> and I, and I'm, all of these videos are going to be uncut. So I'm, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm, all, I'm only a human being, but I want to show you guys the real me. This isn't, this isn't edited, this isn't highly edited or anything, and it's not supposed to be. It's just the real me. That's what this is all about. I, I don't want to filter anything. I don't want to put off an image of myself that, I, that isn't true, like a lot of other YouTubers do. <clears throat> I just want this to be the real, authentic me, talking about my authentic experiences along this journey. That being said, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all again for your time. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.